In this video, I'm going to show you why Dime 146, I think, is the best blitz in Madden 23, at least the fastest and the most adaptable defense that you could be running right now. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. Also, if you want to get my entire uh, Dime 146 defensive ebook, I again have that. I've released that at least uh, several weeks ago. I still believe this is probably one of the best blitzing style defenses um, in the game. And the beauty of this blitz and the beauty of this defense is you get what I call as a plus one advantage. What I mean by that is it's a plus one advantage in coverage. I want to show you what I mean by this real quick. So if I come out in one four six, which again, like I said, I think is arguably the best blitz in the game. I don't even know if it's, I actually don't even know if it's that close to be honest with you. Um, it's just a really, really good defense. Because it, it, even if the blitz doesn't come in, it gets really, really glitchy sheds, uh, which is very helpful. So we're just going to come out and play DB Sting 2 Buzz. The default audible is DB Sting. We want to audible into that. And then we want to user um, the linebacker that's on the running back side. I like to go ahead and pinch my defense. So you see how we get really good alignment from this. If you notice here, my safety on the left side is misaligned. So what we want to do is we want to man up the linebacker on that player and we want to man this guy up on the running back and what you're going to see is we're going to get incredible pressure off of the edge now what did i i said in the beginning with the plus one blitz you need to have uh, or the beauty of this formation is we can actually get double edge pressure even if even if they send five out right so if i block a running back what you'll notice is this will be a little better for the blitz but we're still getting pressure as you can see even if a running back's blocked it's one of the benefits of the one four six formation um, now, another thing that I wanted to point out here just real quick is if they block a tight end, you're still going to get that plus one advantage. So they're going to basically have to max protect to pick up this blitz. And as you can see there, a block tight end didn't pick up either edge, which is really, I think, incredible. It's one of the big testaments to how powerful this blitz is. If you do this at a dollar, it still can be fairly decent, but it's nowhere near as consistent and it's nowhere near as glitchy, in my opinion, as 146. So here's a max protect. As you see, the sheds are incredible in this formation. We're going to get great sheds even if they pick up the blitzer, which is really, really important. Now, if I wanted to guarantee my pressure and I knew that they were likely going to be max protecting, what I like to do is bring this guy down in the box and basically blitz user the running back. If the running back goes on a route, I'm going to guard him. If not, I'm going to be free to lurk in the middle. So you see here, the pressure is going to absolutely scream. So the beauty of Dime 146 is it has the ability to overload blitz out of anything. Now, another thing that is really, really powerful in this formation is actually the, the, the more quieter blitzes that most people don't talk about, which is cover two sync. You'll see here, this is a four man. And what you should see here is he will a lot of times loop around. The tight end actually did a really good job there of blocking him. Um, but a lot of times this will actually loop around and you'll be able to get pretty good heat uh, as well from something like this. So you see there, there was some B gap pressure. Obviously he's running the tight end, which is kind of finicky. Um, you know, but another thing that's really valuable, last thing that I want to show you about this is let's say you have an edge threat uh, on the Cowboys. Micah Parsons has the edge threat ability. I'm pretty sure. And so what you're going to see is let's say you want to, ideally you want to come out in DB sting two or DB Sting 1, and then you want to audible into whatever you want to do. But what you'll see is, let's say we wanted to play some coverage. You see how we can kind of expand the linebackers because their linebackers are also standing up. And what you'll see is he'll get a really nice pass rush animation and oftentimes get that instant shed because of the edge threat ability. So this alone makes Dime 146, I think, one of the better defenses. And the beauty of this formation is you can kind of honestly run this similar to nickel normal where you're bringing this safety down but you have a lot more flexibility in terms of your coverage behind it so you'll see here i have everybody manned up and chances are if they block seven i can actually sometimes get pressure around that edge as you can see the sheds are still incredible by the way and then the other thing that i want to just lastly point out to you is if i really want to send a lot of pressure i can still have really good coverage against trips formations bunch formations because of that linebacker so here's max protect and as you see we get instant pressure against max protect and we have everybody manned up thanks for watching this video guys i would really encourage you if you want to learn the rest of how to de run the defense really the most effective strategy of how to actually merge it together this is my 
favorite uh, little concept, especially if I want to run some type of sub formation. Dom 146 is really powerful. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get all the ebooks, link is in the description. By joining the Patreon, you get everything all ebooks, all updates to all ebooks. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Would love to have you join. The link is down below, and that's where you can learn the Dom 146. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you in the Patreon page.